to subscribe. T-Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex, the T-Rex, the Angry Rex, turned very red, pointy sharp teeth, pointy, sharp teeth. Powerful, jaws. powerful jaws, everybody go and hide, Tyrant Dinosaur T-Rex, roar, Tyrannosaurus Rex, roar, Tyrannosaurus Rex, roar, Tyrannosaurus Rex! Woo! Tyrannosaurus Rex! Tyrannosaurus Rex! The T-Rex! The Angry Rex! Turned very red! Big strong muscles! Gigantic tail! Everybody go and hide! Tyrant Dinosaur! The Tyrannosaurus's teeth are hurting. What shall we do? Color the white area with your finger. Tyrannosaurus get healthy teeth by brushing them. First, get rid of the germs. than the lion. Hard enough to crush Roar! the Triceratops' bone. Tyrannosaurus yeah. also ran really fast Roar! with its strong hind legs and long tail. Oh no! The Pteranodon hurt its wings! Let's treat it! Color the white area with your finger. Oh! <laughs> 
Get rid of all the germs. on some bandage. The flying pterosaurus used its long beak to catch and eat fish. The cranial crest on its head helped the pteranodon's balance and navigation so it could fly far over the sea. Oh no! The triceratops chipped its horn! Let's help the dinosaur! Color the white area with your finger! Triceratops some new spectacular horns. with its strong new horns. Break down all the obstacles by tapping on them. Yeah. <laughs> 
Horn Triceratops was an herbivorous dinosaur. It also had a bony frill around the head to protect the neck. Although the huge Triceratops was slow, it protected itself with the horns and frill. I think the Branchiosaurus is hungry. Let's help color the white area with your finger. on the Branchiosaurus to lead it to the food. the Tyrannosaurus <laughs> to chase them away. The long-necked Brachiosaurus was a tall, herbivorous dinosaur. The arm lizard's front legs were longer than its hind legs. Its neck was like a giraffe, so they could feed off of high trees. They ate all day long to keep their huge body from being hungry. Krung, the Parasaurolophus seems weak. I will help, Krung. Color the white area with your finger, Krung. On the musical notes, Krung.
Let's play a song with some friends, Crown. Herasaurolophus had a long tube on its head. The long cranial crust on its back and its head was used to make sounds and control body temperature. The different shapes can also be used to identify the male or female sex. Harry the merchant and his beautiful daughter Petty lived together in a village. One day, as Harry was leaving for work, Petty asked her father to bring back a rose. While Harry was passing through a forest, he ran into an old castle with a beautiful rose bush. I think Petty will like this. But as Harry picked one rose for his daughter, a scary beast appeared. How dare you steal my rose! Yikes! I'm so sorry! I just wanted to give this to my daughter! Daughter? Ha! Huh. Give her to me! Then I will forgive you! The beast threatened Harry! Harry returned home and told Petty the truth about what had happened. I will go! Petty made up her mind and set out for the castle to protect her father. Later that day, the beast saw Petty entering the castle's gate and fell in love with her at first sight. Petty, will you marry me? No, I don't want to! Petty continued to live with the beast and even got her own beautiful room. Every day, the beast came to Petty and asked her, Will you marry me? No! But the beast was more charming <laughs> and kinder than he had seemed. So every day, the two played together from morning till dawn. <laughs> you are so much fun! One night, a ball was arranged. Will you dance with me? Petty started to open up to the beasts honestly. Meanwhile, Harry was worried about Petty and gathered the town's people to head for the castle. Everyone, let's defeat the beast and save my daughter! Let's go! The townspeople surrounded the beast. Father, I'm all right. The beast is a kind man. No, he isn't. He's tricking you. The beast was in love with Petty, so he couldn't hurt Harry. He didn't defend himself and wound up getting hurt. Oh! Uh. Petty quickly hugged the dying beast. Oh, beast, I love you. Thank you for everything. At that moment, the beast started to glow brightly. As the light faded away, a handsome prince was lying there instead of the beast. 
In truth, the beast was actually a prince who had been cursed. And Petty's true love had broken the curse. I love you too, Petty. <laughs> prince. Petty married Poby and became a princess. And the two <laughs> lived happily ever after. Dorothy Petty lived in a secluded home in the middle of a great prairie. One day, Petty felt frightened because the weather seemed strange. came through and swept Petty's home away into the sky. After a while, Petty stepped out into a place she had never seen before. Where am I? Oh, I want to go back home. This is the land of Oz. If you want to go back home, you must go find the Wizard of Oz. Listening to the farmer, Petty set out to find Oz. On the way to Oz's castle, Petty met some new friends. A scarecrow without a brain, a tin man without a heart, and a cowardly lion. As they were reaching the castle, a steep cliff was in their path. What are we going to do? Does anybody have a good idea? Just then, the scarecrow answered, Let's cut down some trees and make a long bridge. Then the tin man cut down the trees and built a bridge. I'm happy I could help out. But as they were crossing the bridge, monkeys with wings started to attack them. Don't worry, Kurarang. Wow, the lion bravely chased away the flying monkeys. The friends crossed the bridge and finally met the Wizard of Oz. I am the mighty Wizard of Oz. What brings you here? The friends each told their wish. I need a smart brain. Give me a warm heart. I need courage, Crumb. Just then, Petty quickly pulled down the curtain that was concealing the wizard. Reveal yourself! Ah! Oh my! The wizard was actually Eddie the Inventor. I'm sorry. I'm actually not a wizard. The friends were very disappointed. <laughs> hmm. At that moment, Petty spoke. It's all right, guys. The Scarecrow has the wisdom to solve difficult problems. And the Tin Man has a warm heart that cares for his friends, doesn't he? The lion bravely protected us. Everyone already has what they wished for. After listening to Petty, <laughs> the friends all cheered. <laughs> That's right! <laughs> krum, krum. But I don't think I will ever be able to go back home. <laughs> Just then, Eddie cried out. I can help you with that. I have a fabulous hot air balloon. So Petty and Eddie rode the hot air balloon and safely flew back home. Goodbye, my friends. I will never forget you. <laughs> <laughs>